And the very fact that there were divergent views on their opinions of that reservation policy goes on to say that we are likely at the level of this committee not competent to really discuss all those matters. We have requested all political parties also to prepare their suggestions, omissions, cancellations, deletions with substantial legal footing. Because we can all suggest whatever we want, but we need to also make sure that we clear the legal scrutiny. As a state, political parties are mandated to review with condition that there will be no obstruction or scrutiny that will result negatively for, for the government. More or less, this is what we have said. All political parties have their own own opinions. Some have asked for status quo. Some have said review on these, 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 these points. But all of those presentations were made verbally. Now, we cannot make a verbal presentation in front of a committee and expect the committee to understand what you mean by that. The second thing is, you may come with a drop menu and say, we want this, this done. But you also have to give justification so that government, if at all it considers any of your suggestions, or for that matter, that, we, that expert committee, should it be an independent committee, should it not be an independent committee, we don't know. But you at least have to justify. And each political party will be responded to individually. And then we can have a common discussion again. The next meeting is three weeks from now. <coughs>